So this week, after having a week off of the bike because I was ill, I, um, I am going to take some of you guys' suggestions and make a bracket in, ooh, instead of just welding the plates right back on. I don't know if you remember where we left off. We had plates that kind of looked like that. That was going to cover the ignition kind of area with. Um, and I was just going to... I did think, oh, I'll put bracket on it. And then I changed my mind. I thought, I'll weld it straight on. And then you guys reminded me that would be a silly idea. So I am going to bolt it on instead. So I'm just looking for some bolts from this lovely collection here with a nut and then I'm going to weld this onto the bracket and weld the bracket onto the bike then hopefully paint it all up because it needs painting quickly because uh, it's started to get rusty which is not really what I want I don't really know the only problem is I don't know where the nuts are. I there's more of this. Maybe the wrong spot. Let's so this is just a box of old nuts and bolts that my dad has just, or I have taken off of whatever and we just chuck it in here so we have, we don't have to go and buy new ones every time. We need new ones. I really have no clue. These ones look kind of like shinier and newer and I don't want to just use up all of those when my dad might want it for a different project. But at the same time, I'm struggling. There's loads of them to be fair and I try to find, they've got these ones but I can't find them. The nuts that fit for that, that's what we need to be. So this one. This is this one. Uh, also, these are black, so I think they'll hide in a little bit better. So, I think we're just going to go for these. I have no idea why there's so much stuff up here today. Um, I'm going to have to move it. Oh, God, that's heavy. Um, it's just, why is this place always a tip? No matter what, there's just stuff here. Oh, we don't want the heat lamp up here either. <laughs> what the fuck is this? And this? Right, I'm going to take these bits and make some square bits. Ah, they need to be big enough. Yeah, that's fine. Should be fine. We have now got my bracket with the nut and the bolt working so that's all done and I've also got this one uh, which is oh I thought it was stuck but we're good so we've got those two I'm just gonna kind of chip away at this one slowly to be honest guys um, I'm still not feeling like a hundred percent so I'm just gonna do like little bits each day rather than full on going for this. Also it's still getting dark pretty quick uh, so I probably wouldn't even have time to make another bracket anyway even if I tried. Um, next bit is to weld this onto the bike. <laughs> Obviously after last time when I set fire just my angle grinder to my new pods I'm a bit, a bit nervous but well uh, whatever let's just let's just go do it. I don't know. Yeah. It is absolute struggle in this shed. Okay. 
everything is a mess. Now I've lost the bloody fucking span for the... Anyone tries to patronise me again about why it takes so fucking long for me to do anything, that should be enough. That should be more than enough. And if anyone wants to come at me from complaining about the workspace I have to work in, well, oh yeah, fuck you to be honest. Can't work like this. Uh, yeah, where am I supposed to put this? Oh my lord, Jesus! So I made another mistake there, just realised that this bracket, the bolt is on the wrong side so if I was to attach it to the bike it'd be, the bolt would be pointing outwards which wasn't what I wanted, I obviously wanted it on the inside of the frame. So that one's correct. Same problem I did with the um, battery box actually, I just replicated it exactly so I put it on the exact same side and obviously it needs to be opposite sides because there are two sides to a bike so 
just a bit pissed off because obviously I've taken this out, all of this out here, and I need to remake a whole new bracket. So it means I need to take it all back inside. Uh, it's just. Mm. I just can't be asked. I really just can't be fucking asked. I'm kind of wondering, like, do I even care? Should I just put the bolt on the outside? Like, do I even give a shit? Not really. I'm just gonna weld it on as is. Yeah, fuck it. I need to sand it a bit more down. Um, take the paint off of the frame. That's going to be it for today. I'm going to come back tomorrow and do a little bit more. Um, hopefully I can get this all done by the end of the week. This, today is Thursday, so um, if I can get it all done by Sunday and upload a video on Sunday, then that would be great, but if not, if not. Um, yeah. Till tomorrow. Got my metal plate ready to make some more brackets for my ignition plate covers. Um, yeah, got all the tools out ready stuff, so let's get on with this. Um, and this time I will actually show you uh, step by step what I what how I'm making the bracket. Not that it's interesting, but I'm gonna do it this time, so let's get on with that. I almost had a moment of total panic there for a second because um, electricity conductor bit has come off of its cable um, but apparently it's it's an easy fix so uh, that's a good thing. I, I got really worried for a second that I broke it then but uh, apparently all I need to do is kind of undo this bit here and then uh, Oh! 
too much but I honestly don't really know um, I know there's a better way of stripping cables down than this I've definitely seen my dad do it before but I just I'm not really sure how to do it right and then I wanna avoid it be raining I don't wanna up and squeeze it all together nice and tight. I don't know if I'm supposed to take this stuff off because that looks a bit fucked to me. We got it in. Oh yeah, we did it. Fern sets her bike on fire round to electric boogaloo. Okay, so the last bit I'm doing today is just um, doing the holes for this plate um, and then I'm going to see if I fit it on and if it fits on then great. I'll probably call it a day. It'll be Saturday so hopefully by then I'll have everything done in terms of video. So yeah, let's, uh, let's um, do this bad boy and uh, size it up and call it a day. Righty. Are you tapping it or? No, I can't get that. Mm -hmm. That bolt in? No. That's weird. I just got it in a second ago. So you explain what you're doing or not? Yeah. So you know, I need to mark a hole. Yeah. But I can't get transfer punching from behind, so I made this. Bad thing. I made this. Right, let's see get that in there. 
There you go. So I'm skipping a few steps ahead. Um, we've got both of these brackets on and I've put the other plate on already now. I just wanted to show you guys how my dad taught me how to be able to punch a hole put, um, accurately into the other side. Obviously in here I can't get my fingers in to mark out on the plate where I want to hit it and when I want to drill a hole. So what he's done um, is we've got a, a bolt here and it's gone through to the other side and I'm going to place this over the top like this put it where I want it to be and kind of lightly tap over where the hole is and then I don't know if I got that right yeah I don't know if you can see that it's put a little mark where I need to drill I'll quickly take that out and show you what the um, punch looks like. So there you go, old unneeded bolt uh, shaved down into kind of like a punch shape. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, you know what, you look what it looks like, it's fine. Right, so here we are, we've got our plate on now. Um, just need to make this hole look bigger so I could push it directly onto the frame. The punch worked completely fine, got that, those two holes in the plate accurately and yeah, that's that's how it looks. Um, it's not my favourite thing, I don't love it, but hopefully when I paint it black it'll kind of just blend in and it won't be so glaringly ugly. <laughs> Um, another thing I want to show you guys is I've got the valve covers off properly now and all the brackets that came with it and I think that looks so much better than it did with the chrome tops. Um, I'm really liking the look of that. Next week I really hope my tank arrives and I can do the tank video then but it's it's been for ages, it's been forever and it still hasn't turned up so uh, we'll see, we'll see. But I think she's kind of coming together a bit now. You can kind of see what the end product could possibly be. I'm really loving this kind of like exposed raw look going on here. So yeah, that's, you know, that's exciting. So another thing that I have been kind of maybe considering might not do might do is um patreon uh some of you guys have suggested it and i was pretty reluctant at first um money can never really go amiss it's always good to have a little bit of extra cash and uh, there's something that i am working towards that isn't necessarily it's not to do with the bike but there is something i am working towards and oh my light just went off um, and I'd like to share that with you all and if you want to support me then that would be cool um, so yeah um, I've kind of asked around of, with other people like should I do a Patreon how should I work it blah 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 but really the main people I need to be asking is like you guys so um, any feedback on that kind of point would be nice um, yeah um, no so that's it for this video uh sorry that that last kind of installment of it wasn't super clear i was with my dad most of the day so couldn't really have the camera out but that's what those look like so go me anyways hopefully i'll be back next week with another video i might not do i might just do like a little clearing up and tidying type thing maybe a bit of an update rather than tank because the tank might not be here in time but yeah so thanks guys um till next week